So I wanted the entrance to be majestic. So that's why I decided to make my entrance, hallway, the walk-in closet because what's more majestic than my fashion? Ching, ching. The other stuff is uh, on this pile there. Look, walk-in closet, walk-in closet, walk-in closet three. And the great thing is, in my walk-in closet, I can feel fancy. I can shower, I can take a shit. Okay, let's come out of the closet, if you will. I know you're not here for the messy, crappy house tour. I know what you're here for. You're nodding, nodding, nodding. Yes, it's Pride Month. And what do you think of when I say pride and fashion? Oh my gosh, funny. The shark from the Katy Perry video is here. Everyone's wearing colors and pink and rainbows so obviously yours truly has to go for it so step, step one, one. one i start with making some nice sexy cutouts because who does not love a good cutout okay and i might have also wall paint on my shirt basically gonna make this runner shirt into a body and because on two legs you cannot walk or well, potentially you could, but uh, the point is, I'm gonna make another cutout and my shirt is telling me exactly what would be the logical play. And then, ladies and gentlemen, you can take a moment to stick your head through <laughs> for absolutely no reason at all. I felt like I had to cut out this other little piece as well, already not sticking to the plan whatsoever. And then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna fold over the edges and pin it back. And then, time to take the sewing machine. When placing it on the table, watch out! Do not leave the end of the thread stuck onto something in the hallway. <laughs> then I'm gonna set it to a little zigzag stitch and sew the seam allowance to the shirt. <laughs> Try out a little piece first to see if the seam stretches enough for your fabric. Gotcha! After a long day of work, I'm tired. I want to close myself off to the outside world. That's why I have this beautiful curtain. Very abstract, high-end, top-notch. It's like a very advanced system. I mean, there's so much people talking about <sighs> smart homes, everything automatic. So 2010. 2022, everyone's doing it like this, is my prediction. <laughs> Then I lace through a shoelace, only to realize that this is gonna look awkward. But viewers of my channel know there is one solution that fits almost every problem, and it's my favorite thing to do. Cut it, cut it, cut it. After cutting, I'm gonna sew white elastic with a zigzag stitch along all the open edges, and then later fold it in again and zigzag over it again. And down below there, you know where. <laughs> I'm gonna add two laces. And you know what they say about sportswear. Don't iron it. I said don't iron it. Oh my god, you're kidding me? It will burn. A few moments later. Hey! Then I'm gonna fold in and sew over the two corners in the back so that I can pull my laces from the front. You know where. To the back, through the loops. We have the latest of the latest here. We have electrical cooking, which I love because it's really easy to confuse which ones are on and which ones are off. Yesterday. <laughs> so this year it's functioning as my kitchen counter and office desk in one. Basically a mini bar on my office desk. <laughs> Guess what? It's going to happen to keep my underwear here as well. Hashtag the never ending walk in closet. Oh man, I'm tired. <laughs> that was a little less elegant than I planned to. Oh, I'm actually hurt. But I'm here. The whole setting is inspired by famous artist Tracy Emin, who got very famous with this beautiful work of a bat. That's why I carefully selected all these pieces to lie around and basically curating my bed every morning. <laughs> Did 
thought I was a tree. <laughs> my own garden. I have my own couch. I have my own tree. My own garden. Couch. Tree. Couch. Garden. And my best friends know I love gardening, especially if the plants are from plastic. I'm cut. Tree. I'm cut. Couch. Tree. Garden. My old beloved grandmother always used to say, when you are in doubt, just add some gloves. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I might just have stolen the ID from five months, but can we keep it between us? And if you want to learn how to sew gloves, please watch another tutorial. I have no clue what I'm doing. For some reason, this thumb has to stay loose. Now I'm just gonna sew it together, connect it to the shirt, and hope that my big fat hands will fit in. I'm cut. I promise, next time, be a bit more organized.